Abrams pilots have a, a, a strong history of strong female characters right off the bat. Tell me about Rebecca Madsen. Rebecca Madsen is, um, she's very involved in her work and um, she doesn't really let anything get past her if she can help it. And um, once you see the pilot, you'll understand why she has to be a part of the special task force to figure out this mystery of Alcatraz and what's going on with the prisoners. Yeah, like so talking about Rebecca's ties to Alcatraz, do you did you have any knowledge about the history and the lore of Alcatraz? Is that something that interested you going in? Oh, absolutely. Um, I I love history, and I think the folklore. The it's 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 you know it, America being such a young country, and you know in comparison to the rest of the world, having that piece of of folklore is 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 something that we can declare our own, and I think that's kind of exciting and um, so yes absolutely that and Liz's writing <laughs> those were the two kind. things that interested me so yeah, yeah. now, now um, would you say that uh, you, maybe you have a fixation on mysterious islands <laughs> no I, I actually got brought into both those shows I you know I came on to Lost in the second season and this show was the idea of uh, two writers named Stephen Lillian and Brian Winbrandt and JJ shared it with me and, and I said, well, this is what I would do if it were my show and, and we got together and we just did it. But I, it's both ideas have been brought to me. I've never started with the idea of an island, but it was irresistible to me. <laughs> now, sure. Your character is kept in the dark, you know, by Sam Neill's character who seems to know all, but you finding out piecemeal everything. Is that how you're finding about, about the series yourself as an actress, like script yes, by script? Essentially, Liz is Sam Neill. <laughs> Sam Neill's playing me. She, she, yes, she gives me little, you know, she leaves a trail of breadcrumbs and then I have to kind of... i tell you what I can. <laughs> now, is that, is that something you find effective? Like, does that help you, like, not knowing? Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm given information that I need. I'm given information if I have a question about who she is, if I'm stuck on something, or if I think that, if I have an instinct that I think might relate to something later on, I'll ask her about it and she'll do her best. But I don't I don't want to know everything. I think that does help because if it's not a mystery to me as a human being, you know, if I kind of know everything already, then, you know, it kind of takes away that that edge a bit. No, no, I totally yeah. Now, one thing that's interesting about the show is it's it's already got a mythology right off the bat, but it also has uh, the potential to be a case of the week sort of show too because of escape prisoners, is that something that was part of the plan going in? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we really wanted a show with a story engine, and this show has a powerful one, which is that every week one of these guys is back and he's doing terrible things. So we have that great story engine, and then at the same time we have all the character stuff, and then we have all the mythology of the show. So it's it's quite fun, quite a big plate, and it's a lot of fun.